Hello and welcome to my Minecraft Let's Play Season 2 Part 10. So, after thinking it over quite a bit, I eventually realized that the, really the only way of getting cows back to where I wanted them would be through the nether. So, I went into the nether, traveled a distance that I... You know, traveled till I got far enough that when I put another portal, a second nether portal down, I popped out right where all the cows were, out in the plains, which uh, I think are that way, that way, that way, that way. And grabbed some cows, lured them back through the portal, and then I lured them through the nether, a little over my little bridge. And I brought them over to here. And I've been breeding them a bit, and I now have 46 leather. And I will show the bridge next time I'm back in the nether. So now, I can go back to my main base, and start seeing about getting that enchanted table up. You may also notice that I have a lot easier, uh, a lot better sound quality this time. I have a new sound card, which should make the sound issues that I've been having much less. So that is a very good thing. And there's the block of sand on that tree. I did not put that block of sand there. dirt block there. Anyway. Oh no, you don't. Okay. So I believe I have all this paper I need. Right. So that's there, that goes there. So... This is right. Yeah, 46 books. It's 46 books. Drop one. And then I believe it's one, two, three. Like that? Or is it like that? Like more obsidian. Mm. Oh, it's two diamond. There we go. Enchantment table. And then... Take my wood. Fifteen bookshelves. So 
So now I take all this and come down over here. So Level 30, which I believe is the new maximum level. Yeah, 30 is the max level now. So I will have to go back to my blaze spawner and get some more experience points. And apparently it takes Lapis Azui now to do an enchantment. Which is new. But fortunately I have plenty of that as well. And I have my diamond pickaxe. Very good. Oh, let's, see. let's put that back actually because I'm not quite ready for that. And iron. I guess I can go there. Okay. So, to the nether. Hopefully I won't win anything. Okay. Mm -hmm. So I'll get to show the uh, bridge I built to get the cows over while I'm at this. Oh. Okay. That's unusual. Wonder why it did that. That's very weird. Hmm. Huh. Okay. I don't know what's up with that. Anyway, this is the uh, tunnel I built. I was actually able to successfully to get them across this bridge and through this tunnel there will eventually lead to the other nether portal that then goes out to the plains where I found the cows. Anyway, should have brought my flint and steel with me. In fact, I should probably fix my portals before I go anywhere. Because right now there aren't any ghasts around and that's going to change soon enough. Right. So let me go back and get my flint steel. Okay. 
Except that it's night now, and I don't like riding my railway when it's night. Alright, I'll fix it later then. In the meantime, I'll just... Put some nether rack down around it. Not ideal, but it'll do. Well, how am I actually supposed to get up there? Um. I guess that will do. Okay. I won't be here too long. Okay, so I have gotten up to level 40, and I was about to do some enchanting when this thunderstorm started, so now I'm actually going to go back out and take a quick look out my window and see this thunderstorm. Yeah, it is a thunderstorm. I'm glad that... Oh, there's an out there. I really need to put a roof on my sky base. But I am glad that I am down here and not out there. Anyway, so, as you can see, I have gotten up to level 40. And I've got everything with me this time, so hopefully I will be able to do some enchanting now. Alright, so that took in a very long time. But I have successfully enchanted my stuff. I've got my diamond sword with sharpness, unbreaking, knockback fire, and loot. All to max. My diamond pickaxe with silk touch, efficiency 5, and unbreaking. And my diamond pickaxe with efficiency 5, fortune 3, and unbreaking. And then I put efficiency 3 and 2 on my axe and shovel. And happily enough, flame and infinity are no longer mutually exclusive. And I have power and punch to max level as well. I have Protection 4, Unbreaking 3, and those Respiration and Aqua Affinity on my helmet, and then those and those on my armor. I'm missing the legs because I ran out of diamond. I went ahead, I thought about it, and I went ahead, decided I went ahead and used all my diamonds to enchant, to make the armor, which I then enchanted. Defeats the purpose of my skin blending in with the background, but it's okay. Anyway, 
I... Yeah, that took a really long time. I did... Yeah, I had to give myself stacks and stacks of lapis and books. Because I figured that I... Yeah. And I also gave myself lots of experience points to save having to go to the nether all the time. But other than that, I did do the enchanting legitimately. So I enchanted books and put the books together and then enchanted the sword. The sword was tricky because having sharpness 5 made it harder to enchant. I had to reset the enchantments on the sword a few times, but I eventually was able to get it all on. And I made sure I didn't give myself any more diamonds than I had originally. Because lapis lazuli is one thing, but diamonds... Yeah, I don't want to give them. I also gave myself an anvil when my anvil broke, and you can see this anvil is also about to break. So you can imagine how many enchantments I had to run through. But... Oh, and, uh, I grabbed a Ender Pearl when an Enderman spawned in my base, so that was that. Anyway, all that said, I am in a pretty good place now. Next thing I want to do, now that I'm shifting into wearing diamond armor, I'm going to bring with, keep with me some potions, because I do not want to die at this point. I'm pretty heavily protected, obviously, but things like lava could still be pretty painful. So, with that in mind, uh, let's see, what is it that makes the... I have to look it up, because it's been a while, but what is it that makes the health potions? I believe... thinking here... So, three glass bottles, fill them, and let me see here, so then I get that, and I'm gonna need that. So, I believe it is like so? Or do I have to surround it? I'm trying to do this from memory here. Oh, good, that's done. There we go. Glistering melon. I think that will work. And let's see. I'll probably need, I think, let's see, is it glowstone or redstone to make them more potent? Potion of healing. Instant healing. Good. Good. It's glowstone that does it. Okay. We have one glowstone. I'll make some potions of instant healing. From this point on, I'm always going to be making sure to bring food and water and fire potions. Which I'm going to keep the fire potion on my bar, because fire and health I'll keep on my bar. Good, because they're uh, important things. I could make a splash potion, but I don't think I need to do that. I'd rather have the long durations, and it's real quick to eat them. I'll drink them. Okay, so now... Going to go up to my little lookout here. Yeah, they fixed efficiency, not um, working against dirt when it's on like a pickaxe, which is mildly annoying, but whatever. Okay. Oh yeah, I named my bow Fire Bow, in case you missed that earlier. Boom! Okay, I wonder if I can hit that squid from here. Maybe. I don't see anymore. 
No, it's still there. There, hit it. Cool thing about my bow is it's pretty much a one hit. If I can see it, I can shoot it, and if I can shoot it, it's probably going to be a one hit. And I need to get some dirt to fix that hill up there. Anyway, so now that I've got the enchanting done, the next thing to do, I think, is to go back into the caves. And let's see, there's two things I could do at this point. I could build a smooth stone generator and use my silk touch pickaxe to start picking, um, turning a lot of this cobblestone back into stone brick and working on my sky base. Or I could go exploring and look for more diamonds to finish out my armor and finish enchanting. Hmm. I think I'm gonna go into the caves, at least for a little bit. Let's see, is this the one? Yeah, okay. Like, before I drop into this long pit, let me make sure it's the right spot to be dropping into. Okay. It's been a while since I've been down here, so I'm not actually sure that there's stuff to mine down here anymore. Oh, there's this, obviously, though. <laughs> yeah, see, I was prepared. Still. Yeah, that's nice. Gotta love efficiency 5 pickaxes. Alright. Does that mean there's nothing over here? Mm -hmm. Okay, nothing over there. Oh, wait. Oh, yeah, okay, nothing over here. Alright, no, yeah, I remember this now. There's nothing over in that direction. I only have nine torches. Should have brought more torches with me. Oh well. I'm sure I'll be fine. Oh yeah, here we go. Here's the ravine. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and I am on hard, yeah. <laughs> nah. It's a neat feature. Hmm. Looks like there might be stuff up there. Oh, there's iron up there. Right. I'd be careful there. Okay. Oh, some more lapis up there. Obviously, been up here. Coal over there. Coal over there. Oh, yeah, there's my little tower. Ooh, gold. It's very nice. Hmm. 
course, the problem is I'm probably too high up at this point for diamonds. I think this area is probably pretty well cleaned out. I mean, there might be, like, diamonds down near where the obsidian is, but there are, they aren't exposed, and this is a good ravine. Still, I'm getting plenty of smooth stone, which is good, because that will give me stuff to build my generator with. So it's all good. Yeah, I'd say it's pretty well cleaned out. Ah, I did it. Hit my little tunnel. Perfect. Alright, so I'm going to head back. Uh, okay. Back to my base. Obviously, I'm going to have to go to other locations for more resources. Unless there's stuff over here. Now, dead end. Alright, so I would say the caves under my base are pretty much tapped out at this point. Still plenty of obsidian down here though, so if I ever want more obsidian, I can come down here for that. Alright. I was actually hoping to run into some mobs. That one creeper was good though. Because I was hoping to test out my armor some more, but then again, it's probably a good thing. I didn't run into mobs, because I really don't want to lose my armor. Oh yeah, alright, so I need to do that, and to do that, and to do that. And then I mine it with my fortune pick. Okay, so it worked there, but why didn't it work there? Hmm. Why isn't it working? Eating time. Put that in there. Do I have a spot for obsidian? No, I guess I do now. I'll hang on to that stuff. Put that in there, that there. That there. Leave that there as a backup. And okay. So now... Let's see, what's over here? Because I know the water is around here somewhere. Yeah, see, it's right there. Okay. Well, not water. Oh, wait. Ooh, iron. I wonder what's going on up there. Alright, I'm gonna have to, to go check this out. But I'm not going to climb out there, because that seems like a dangerous idea. Oh, I get it. Okay. Take you out. Take you out. Cool. All good? Alright. Let's put a bit of an overhang up here. I didn't like that coming out with no protection. Okay. Put a block of sand there. That way I could just have a little bit of protection as I'm coming out of my tunnel. Alright. Let's run back to my base. So I'm going to do this. I'm going to climb down here. All right, 
right, so iron ore. I just mined that with a... Oh, I need to switch pickaxes there. Okay. So we come down here. Like so, and that's where I'll start putting it. Clear out a nice little room here. So I am uncertain of the size involved. Because I've only ever actually had, a, had one of these one other time. So I'm not sure how big I need to make it. Yeah. <laughs> I think I found the water. It's fine. This whole area is lower than my base, so there's nothing to worry about in that sense. still a concern, though. I have to go out at some point and make sure it looks okay from the outside as well. But for now, I can just worry about it from here. Because, I mean, I can, I'm surprised I'm not getting any reeds, but then I guess I must be right at the edge of the water. Which is fine. There we go. To narrow down the stairs there, but there. So there to there to there. There to I yeah. I guess that works. Okay. So now, got a nice little room. Now I just need to make some staircases. Okay, here we go. Which I have to turn them into brick first. So. I will get this right. There we go. 36 stone stairs. Um. Hmm. This part's the easy part. There we go. Perfect. 
Perfect. There, I like that a lot. That looks really nice, in my opinion. Same thing there. And then rip all this up and make it look nice as well. Aside from that, which I can't change because of if I change it or if I try to pull out these bricks, I'll, might, I run the risk of breaking open the thing. I don't want to do that. And I think that's done. Okay. So now I cut the video while I figure out how to build this thing. Okay, so it turns out it's actually super easy to build. So, until the next part, see you then.